لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة If anyone doesn't believe in the day of judgment, it is as though you are saying that Allah created us for no reason, no particular purpose, or no valuable purpose. The people who sinned and killed and harmed, they get off the hook. And the people who strived and struggled and did good, they did it for nothing. And these are one of the reasons that those who don't believe in the hereafter, I think this is one of the reasons why they commit suicide. When they lose all their wealth, or they lose their loved ones, or their job, and they feel that they've got no future, when they lose all connection with life, they commit suicide. One of the main reasons is because they, didn't ha they do not have a belief, an iman, in a life after here. And therefore, they don't, know, they don't know why they're here. And so they can create their own purpose. A lot of them create their own purpose. And some of the purposes they create is family. I'm here for my family. That's a small purpose of life. But that's not the whole purpose of why you're here on earth. Because if that was the whole purpose, then Allah will keep us living forever here. Why is there death? Why does Allah take members of the family before? And it's strange how some people say before their time. What does that mean? He went before his time. It's as though we knew when everyone's going to die. What do you mean before his time? Death has no age. And this life is not paradise. And we're not meant to stay here. We are here for a different reason. We are here to grow our here after. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and He will judge us in the hereafter because He is the just one. He knows where we're going to be, but we don't know where we're going to be. So in order that we don't argue with God on the day of judgment, Allah says, you can go through the life and see it for yourself. And on the day of judgment, your whole life will be reversed. You will see yourself from the moment you died, you will see everything going backwards. You're living and it's all, you're reliving the moments until you are a baby. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves you from that so you can stay alive. So you don't return back until nothingness. You see it all. Forwards and then backwards. Everything. And so people who deny their hands and their feet and their eyes and their ears and all of that will bear witness that you did it. There is no running away on that day. But before that day comes there are signs. And it's quite... Unusual that some people they say, I didn't have a sign before I died. Everyone has a sign before they died. Die. Everyone. Everyone. But these signs are different. They come in various forms. Some people have immediate signs of death before they die. Such as illness. Such as even spiritual feelings. Others, they don't have any of these signs. It just hits them like that. But the signs I'm talking about is time time as time progresses as you grow in age you're actually getting smaller in age every minute that we grow we're actually getting our life is getting shorter and therefore time is one of the signs age is another white hair is another wrinkles and the Prophet ﷺ said everything has a cure except for two things everything has a cure لِكُلِّ دَاءٍ دَوَاءٍ every illness has a cure if you find it he'll be cured except for two things الموت والحرام death and age old age you can't reverse it all those commercials you see on television about Nivea and this cream or that cream, I don't know their names, but you know, all these creams telling you because you know your life and they put these women and men up there as though they have this really fresh skin. This, that, that's, that's a lie. It's, they're just deceiving you. There's no cure for old age. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He replies to those who deny the end and resurrection. 
by saying look at the life that you live in now so Allah SWT says, look at the way we created the life as an example of why, how we are going to resurrect you. Look at how he sends winds and clouds as a good sign for you of mercy. So you can have water, so you can grow your crops and eat. When the clouds fill up, we take it to a land that is dead. Land that has no crops, nothing, it's dry, drought. And from it, we bring back life of fruits. Kathalik, just like that, Allah says, Kathalik, just like that or similar to that, we will raise the dead people. I say to, Allah says, I say this to you in the hope that you may remember and reflect. So there are many signs or ayat of this. And Allah says, Kalla satu Behold, you shall be resurrected. The signs are many. There are minor signs and major signs. As for the minor signs, they began when? Who knows when they began? The minor signs of the closeness of the world's end. The death of the Prophet Naam, his death. So that's 1,437 years ago now. To us it seems a long time. But I want to say two things. If you're 10 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, you know, in your mind, you know it was a long time ago. But how do you feel? You feel like it was only yesterday. Isn't that right? 60 years, 100 years, it feels like just yesterday. In your mind, you know it was a long time ago. But feeling, it's only a little bit. If you lived for a thousand years, wallahi, it's going to feel the same. There's a narration about Nuh alayhi salam. He lived for a thousand and about 150 or up to 1,350 years. Different narrations, but more than a thousand years. And on his deathbed, the people asked him, how, did you, how do you feel living all this long time? And he says, it's like, he said, it's like a person opened a door, took a step to the other side and then closed the door. And he's trying to say that, it's, you don't even feel it. It just passes like that. So whether you're now or in 30 years' time, it's the same thing. You're going to feel the same as now. 